What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the banger today guys on another week of sneaker news in full effect. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been showing support on this channel. I definitely see you guys, see y'all in the comment section and I want to continue to bless you guys. I don't even want to say bless you guys. I just want to give you guys more content, okay? If you guys see it as a blessing, if you guys see it as entertainment, that's all that's needed to know, but I don't feel like I'm blessing you. Like, you should be blessed by me dropping video. Nah, it's not like that. It's not like that, okay? But I, I want to give you guys entertainment at the end of the day. So be on the lookout. My plan is to drop another video tomorrow on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Cross your fingers, okay? We have a ton of sneakers to talk about this week, man. We have a lot of sneakers in general, man. I think, let, let me ask a quick question before we even get into it. Do you guys think that that is the reason why, and maybe we dive in a little bit further, but is there just too many releases? Too many shoes going on, dropping left and right? That gives too many options out there for people to buy something, which then leads to a decrease in overall sales for companies and corporations from sneakers to even more. I mean, I just feel like there's so many shoes dropping, so many options out there, and the prices are let alone. Let's not forget about the prices are, you know, crazy. That's why, you know, that's why we're where we at now. Let me know down below. But I mean, there was a time when there was four Jordans released in a month. Now I feel like there's like eight Jordans that release a month. I just think it's just too damn much. Let me know though down below in the comment section your thoughts on that one. And uh, let's get straight into it, man. Let's get it. First things first, man, today, the 27th, we have the April Skateboards and Nike, uh, not I said Jordan, Nike uh, Dunk SB Low. Now, apparently these did not make it to sneakers, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know nothing about April Skateboards. I'm not big into the SB stuff. I like certain SBs, like, you know, Purple Lobsters and stuff like that, but all the skate shops, I'm not gonna cap and try to seem like I'm the, you know, I've been a skateboarder forever, and all. Like, I'm just, I don't even own that many SBs. I think, like I said, I, my own uh, purple lobsters and the the uh what's it called those uh the jordan sb the jordan 4 that just released this year but also the la to chicago that fades i like those type of stuff i like that type of ordeal they're bringing those two you know basketball and skateboard together but this straight up skateboard like i'm not gonna fake the funk i'm not gonna fake cap and at the end of the day majority of the people that are buying these are buying them to resell so i'm good on that i'm not gonna buy this shoe just to flip it for you know 30 dollars profit Turbo green is a colorway, so it looks a lot like the actual Jordan 1 Turbo green, which I found to be dope. You know, it's cool, but I'm good on that. Next up, we have the Pharrell Adidas NMD Mob. Now, these things, I've re I reviewed them on the channel. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of Pharrell, though, what he's doing and human race, but it's, it, it seems like he hasn't really struck iron for what I like for a minute now. But on top of that, the price point of these being at $230, you must be out your goddamn mind. I mean, the retail right now, these things are going, the, the original ones that I actually reviewed are going for $126 over on Sneaker Politics. And they're pretty much on sale everywhere else as well. So I don't know, Adidas, if you're watching this, but you're gonna have to drop that price or drop this model. You know, it's 230, like, it's just too much. Too goddamn much for this shoe. I don't think it's gonna move. And I feel like, the, you know, if you continue to do that, this is gonna continue to flop. I'm pretty sure your margins are pretty good at the end of the day to make some bread, but yeah, these are definitely done dadas. And I'm looking forward to seeing if we see this happen with Jordan brand. Are we going to get a reversal or droppage of price and retail? Because 210 is just not hitting. People are starting to really say no. You know, all the Jordans have been pretty much releasing for below retail in the secondary market. And I've always stated that like, you know, people are going to still go buy retail if they have the option. That majority of the time is because of the fact that to buy something, you got to spend a little bit more than retail. But when the majority of these shoes are dropping and they're already on sale on a secondary market, you're going to see more and more people go to the secondary market than go to the main market. So once Nike starts feeling that and seeing that happen more and more, they're going to do something about it. They already are tacking StockX as is, but they're going to have to make an adjustment as far as on a pricing or something there's gonna have to be something to happen 210 225 these 250 jordans like 200 i think 180 is a good price bro 180 but i don't see it coming got a couple other you know air maxes these premiums the air maxes themselves too have been just flopper doppers you feel me like let me just check we'll just check and see what where is this one at this one just dropped today as well i know soul play actually has this coming soon Oh, this, this drops tomorrow. Okay, this drops tomorrow, that's why. But let's just look at the secondary market. Keep ripping, stop slipping. Let's see, where we got them at? Oh shit, 193? Retail's 160, but the last sale was 164, so you can't look at the buy now. The buy now doesn't mean nothing. The buy now is what a seller is trying to sell you to shoe for. So I don't take this like as a, oh, these are how much they're worth. The sale is how much the shoe is worth. 
How much did somebody just spit on this? The last sale was 184. So we'll have to wait and see. But I mean, majority of the time, like you could see that this one did good. That's probably why this, I didn't know this was like a part of this previous thing. So usually, you know, the, the children of the previous shoe do well. This is a child of the keep ripping, stop slipping. So we'll just have to wait and see, but teach us on. Next up also this shoe, bro, this shoe already released. They like re-releasing re like re it, I guess. I know these are like, these are like right now, yeah, sorry, maybe they found out, but when I last checked, these were on Soul Play's website right now. Also guys, 40% off site wide on Soul Play, 70% off their wholesale fines. This sale ends today, so you might wanna hop on it. But look, yeah, these are already on their site. So I don't know if that was a mistake on Sneaker News is in, but yeah, 29th and then bam, we can start getting up in here and talking about more particularly some of these releases out here that I'd like to talk about. Now, the Vimero. We have another Vimero that dropped, and once again, the ladies are getting another fire colorway. When is the what is the last men's Vimero at this point? I don't even like I don't even know the last time they dropped the Vimero that was for men. They dropped the plum one that was a women's one. They dropped this khaki one as far as a women's one. I think there's that red one that's coming out later this year. It's a red version. That's gonna be a women's. The Vimero's a women's shoe. Do I got it wrong? Am I behind but it just seems like none of these shits are like they're all women and ladies i'm not taking no i'm not hating on y'all whatsoever i'm just saying like let's make it all let's make it everything because i mean at the end of the day just because they're women ain't gonna stop men from going and getting them and i've seen men pairs so don't get me wrong but this is the one i was talking about too this pair i actually been had it says release on the 28th is that real i think this they got pushed back bro i don't think this is real either i think this got pushed back to december let's just check yeah look it's not on anybody's site right now nice kicks like that don't count but it ain't on like anybody else but well with these women's too let me see shit I, we don't even know we don't even know but hey to each his own we're not even talking about that one forgive me we're talking about the khaki cargo one right let's go back this one nice cool um i'll pass on this one i did get the plum one i like the plum one i like this one as well but i don't need a whole bunch of emeralds and then a couple months later i'm trying to get rid of them you feel me so i'll i'll pass on them at the end of the day when it comes to this, so to each his own. But really nice, I like it, I'm for it, I'm not against it, so let's keep it moving. Next up we have the Ja one for a cookout. Uh, you know, overall the Ja Moran shoes have been cool for the most part, you know, retail price point 102, great price point, especially for kids that are trying to get into the basketball type of ordeal. I remember the Paul Georges were going for 120, which was also extremely like cheaper, you know, for a basketball sneaker when you had the Jordans and uh, KD and LeBron's and all that going for like 160 at one point. Now they're going for even more. I ain't seen a Paul George in a minute, but you know, with the release of Kyrie Irving and you know, like I said, I haven't seen a Paul George. The Jaws coming in and it's coming in at a very nice price point and you know, good good quality look overall. So definitely dope. Not something I would buy, but it is something worth you know talking about. On fire since '99, alluding to Jaws birth year, sitting below are some essential grill tools. White speckles of salt cover a light gray ash, so salt, ash, you got the fire. I don't know what the hell the blue is. What kind of meat is blue, man? I like it. It's cool. You feel me? It's cool. Next up, we have some more of the New Balance's fall winter collection that will be dropping. And then this one in particular that we're talking about was this red joint, the uh, 990 V4 leather. Just some more New Balance's popping up. I do feel like New Balance is going to stay where they're at. They're going to do well, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like that hype that little nine, uh, nine six was it the nine sixties and all that. Those are starting like to slow down a little bit. Protection packs and all that. So if you're somebody that really wanted it at the time, now's the time to get on it. But more than likely, majority of people that wanted it just wanted it because it was popping. And now that it's slowed down, you know, they just want to go for the Joe Fresh goods. They don't care about anything else. But hey, letting you guys know that there are some more nine, uh, nine nineties and some more New Balances in general that are be dropping throughout the fall and winter of this remaining year. Next up, we have Rihanna's Fenty, which is the Creeper Fatty. Now they dropped the Puma Creeper a couple years back. Nicole actually had a pair. Now they have dropped in another version of that, which is of the Fatty. Like how I like that ass. My wife's, okay, salutes. And they actually sent me these. I actually got these, me and Nikki actually got a pair of these. And I more than likely will do a somewhat a over overview or something on this channel, so stay tuned. I got this purple and red one, and I definitely think they're trying to push out the market that this is for men and women, women unisex. They definitely want that vibe. They did feature the previous pairs with like ASAP Rocky. They're saying that Puma though and and and, and ASAP were featured to you know help push the uh, the brand for F1. So 
They've definitely been pushing it together. You know, Rihanna's definitely getting that bag for ASAP salutes. That's how you do it. You know, power couple moves. I don't know how the Pumas are doing in general, though. Like, her, her brand in general. I'm kind of curious. Let's just look it up. Like, is it good? Because we do know that musician, collaborative stuff is starting to slow down. These are the ones that Nicole got, and they're still going for 200, so that's not that bad. These are going for 140 right now in stock X. And I hate to, you know, bash reselling and look up the resell, but one of the reasons I'm saying it is if it's going for more than resell, that means that they're probably selling well that enough that someone from the resale side feels the need to go and buy it and then flip it. Now, why I even brought this up is because don't forget, Beyonce had the Adidas collab and that didn't fall through and that's done. So Rihanna's been doing her thing for a minute now. The Fenty brand itself has been good overall, Her this brand. So, you know, I, I, I hope it continues on. I mean, I am though curious this how it's been doing in general. And uh, for the most part, it seems like it's doing fairly well still. I mean, see the prices are still staying. I don't see anything below retail. There's a lot of women that love the Fenty brand and they love these Pumas. So they're, they're hopping on it. I feel like her outreach, her sellability, hey, it's, it's uh, surpassing Beyonce a little bit here on, at least for the merchandise, for clothing side, to each his own. Feel free to let me know, you know your thoughts about that down below. Next up, we have the Nike Dunk Low Cargo Khaki. Now, I saw these. I might actually got these. I might need to drop that video ASAP, bro. These drop. Wait, it says, okay, and that's what probably why I didn't drop it, because I think it's a restock. I think these actually dropped, and then they're coming back out, and that's in December. Now, when I first saw these, I thought I thought Freddy Krueger. You feel me? That's exactly what popped up in my head. Freddy Krueger vibes. You got the, the little combination. I like these a lot. I thought about copping them. I'm thinking about copping them. I like the Freddy Krueger colorway to it. And I'll have a shoe that can rock. You know, I, usually at the end of the day, I like to be Freddy Krueger for Halloween. That's just my favorite. But I don't see nobody even talking about it being called the Freddy Krueger. Maybe because there's already a Freddy Krueger dunk. Nobody wants to, oh, nope, 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 nope. So they said it right here. Earlier looks at shoe legs, you know, to draw a comparison to Freddy Krueger's signature sweater, but the resemblance is likely only coincidental. More than likely, yeah. Who knows? You know, Nike's kind of funny. But I like these. Be on the lookout. Let's see, they have a raffle for them right now. December 1st. I might add this one to the arsenal. I've bought Pandas. I've bought Gold Championship. I've bought in tons of these Nike Dunk Lows, and I end up always selling them. Even the red pandas, all that. I'll cop this and sit on it and make a decision later on if for, for I want it or not. That's just how I'm going to move when it comes to this one. But I do like this one. I do like this one. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this one because I do like it. Next up, we have the LeBron 21 Abalone. It's expected to release in December. I still have not seen one of these LeBrons in hand yet, bro. I definitely want to get my hands on one just to, just to review it. But I have not gotten my hands on a pair of these at least, you know, early. I want to get an earlier pair so I can give you guys perspective before buying it rather than going and grabbing it. And I, I don't even know if these are moving as fast. They look nice, bro. I really like the look of these overall. The LeBron 21, the price point, I, I feel like we talking, talked about it before, and I feel like the price point wasn't that bad. 160, and they're not selling out, okay? So, because these, these pairs are sitting right here, or maybe, whoa, 160 for the kids. Hold on, 170 for this? Damn, these are just sitting? Bro, we are in a crazy time right now, bro. When these were originally dropped, I think these are the FAMU ones. Or like another color, like I forgot, but these shits would, would have been gone, bro. $200, $200. Okay, that's up there. It's up this little, little high up, but when it comes to new sneakers, like new technology, I'm not as mad about it as I am for old shoes being that $200 price point. But something to talk about, cool. Adidas has another Grinch form low coming in. We did last year, we did the Adidas form Grinch, which is a very greeny, high green, all green overall. Now they're bringing in an alternate color and apparently some other, that's the one I got. That's the previous version that we saw from last year. It seemed they're bringing back another version, which is white, uh, with that same type of look overall. I definitely will probably try to get you guys a review, and I'm seeing that they're doing like different versions, like the Who version. Like, you know, I uh, forgot the, the little girl's name. Is it not here? No, this is calling it the Grinch, the Grinch. This, of course, the dog. Forgot the dog's name and the, ch the little girl. I'm guessing each one of these are Whoville or something like that, which is dope. I like it. I like my pair. I love it overall. I, I think I like this one a little bit more now because uh, this one's popping, definitely. I like it a little bit subtle with it, and I like that old old look overall. This one's very well, nice as well. I'm definitely going to probably be pulling these out December 1st and rocking them. I'm going to enjoy my Christmas season shoes, my Grinches, these. I got my Concepts, you know, the, uh, what's it called, the um, Ugly Christmas Sweater. I'm going to wear those shoes throughout that entire month. And 
You guys been asking for weekly sneaker rotations. Maybe we bring them over here. But the thing is, I would have to drop those like on Tuesday because I do these on Monday. So we have to figure some shit out. Maybe Sunday or something. I don't know. And with sneaker rotations, should I tell y'all what I plan to wear for the week ahead? Or should I make the video on what I wore that past week? Because if that's the case, I could drop those on Sunday. Let me know. Next up, we have the Dornbrecker collection that's set to drop on December 2nd. Someone's going to drop. I don't think I'm doing anything bad, but Kusto told me he's going to be dropping all the video on all this. So go to check out Kusto. He's going to be dropping a video on the whole entire collection. Air Max 1, the dunk. We've been talking about these for a minute now, but we actually got some very good images of these sneakers. Cortez's, Flyies. I've still been wanting to try a pair of these. I'm not going to lie. I guess that's it. I think I might have skipped the Jordan 3s. I feel like there was more, though. But... I like this overall collection. I like what they did. I can definitely tell that they're starting to get a little bit more freaky with it. Not in a, not in a bad way, but I mean like the, the customizing is getting a little bit further. You know, they've always done well with the customizing, but they were kind of basic patterns of some sort. Now it's like they're just being able to do whatever they want to do. I like these ACGs also, but like, I feel like there's more customizing being able to go on with the kids and what Nike's allowing them to do. Maybe it's just the upgraded material, the technology, whatever of some sort, but it's definitely starting to show a little bit more that they're having that uh, flexibility at the end of the day. Next up, we have the Travis Scott Nike Mac Attack releasing on December 2nd. I did a review on these, on the original ones. Now we have the actual collab dropping. And this is gonna expose a lot of sneakerheads out there which I don't even think people even give a damn anymore. It's kind of like the hype beast epidemic. We all hated to be called hype beast, and then we kind of just accepted it for what it is. People don't give a damn if they buying it because of the artist or buying it because of the shoe. Like, I don't think that's the case, but I'm going to use the word exposed just to be fun with it. But what we're going to see is we're going to see everybody who dogged the first pair of these now like these. You know, they're going to dog them and they're going to like them. I like the first pair. I'm not going to lie. I ended up getting rid of them. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on these for review, but I probably will get rid of these as well. I'm not like pressed, super pressed about them. You know, the backwards swoosh is definitely dope. The cactus jack on the back is definitely dope. I like how Nike did the bait and switch. They baited us with the Travis Scotts, made people buy the original one, and now they're switching us up and getting us, well, they baited us and switched it with the original one. Now they're bringing out the one that people was initially hyped for. So be on the lookout. Is there an actual thing here? Let's see, do we have a launch for it yet? Not yet. I do want to see though, what is the price for these? Cause I mean, the original ones that were dropping, them shits was like stupid below retail at this point. So it seemed like nobody even got paired. We don't even have a release. Do we even have a release date? It says the second. But look, look at this, 66 bucks, bro. God damn. When they first look, look, look at how much we're going for. 300, they dropped, boom, when they release, June. They stayed up and they just flatlined. 66 bucks, last sale 118, Jesus Christ. Well, it is what it is. Next up, we have the Penny OG. We talked about this last time, this being $200 and Nike being out there goddamn mind. And this is supposedly releasing on the 5th. Somebody commented, salutes to that individual. They said that they were already on sale below retail. But I, so I, don't, like, I don't know if they were talking about the older version or what. I'm actually gonna sell my old version though, probably now. Like I said before, I just, it is what it is. These got a flat line. Ain't no way in hell these shits are going to sell for $200. 240, 275. Like people are trying to make some bread, bro. Ain't no damn way. Ain't no way. But I'm gonna definitely probably get a review out to y'all on this ASAP. I'm gonna probably try to get that done like this week. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna review it. I like the shoe. Trust me, I like the shoe a lot. It's just not worth $200, bro. It just, we gotta call it down the middle. So just stay tuned for that because uh, you'll see it on this channel fairly soon. Next up, we have one of my anticipated releases, which is the Reverse Grinch. And I think originally I seen these being worn by AD. Rest in peace to my favorite basketball player of all time, Kobe Bryant. I don't even think Kobe actually wore these, but he would have, he retired before this would have popped, but he would have wore it. I think he would have liked it. Um, but it's a nod to it. You know, these are actually releasing, what's the release date actually we have for it? I'm gonna make sure to do an updated video on this like on this channel probably like i'm gonna do more focused like more videos focused on releases and like where to cop how to cop where they're at giving you guys all the information you need to know at what stores at what time you know what i'm saying i'm gonna start doing some more stuff like that too for y'all over here but uh december 15th is what we see so far as far as release i know soul play will have a pair so stay tuned on that hopefully we get a review out to you guys as soon as possible on it rest in peace to kobe bryant bro these are beautiful these are beautiful i really like these 
And I need to wear my other pair. I, I don't wear them as much because I just, when I got that shoe, bro, I had wanted that shoe for so much. When I got it, it was almost like a, a gym that I just didn't want to get dirty. They sit right there. They're right there right now. But I'm gonna be wearing them because I'm not scared no more. And especially with these, I'll probably wear these more than that because these are a newer version. I like that version. Just, it's an iconic shoe in my opinion. Next up, Palace and Ugg. And I just wanted to talk about this because uh, I need a pair of these Uggs. I don't really care about the Palace collab, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Can men wear these? I think these are the one that men can wear, right? I might need to get a pair of Uggs, bro. I kind of need some indoor shoes too, though. So I need like an indoor Ugg version as well. But moving on, just wanted to talk about that real quick. We have the big news though. So Leahy is actually gonna be dropping a shoe and this is going into next year. So uh, Crocs and Salehi are doing a shoe, which I think is pretty dope as well. I think it's something I would not mind getting my hands on. I like Salehi Crocs. I own two pairs. They're very comfortable. I wear those more than my Yeezys at this point. I was a big hater of Crocs. I like Crocs now. They just feel comfortable. They're easier to slide in and they're more comfortable in my opinion. And uh, maybe I just don't like the open toe look or anymore. It is what it is. But I still wear my Yeezys. Don't get me wrong. But the Crocs are just very comfortable, bro. And these in particular, I like them a lot. So. We'll have to wait and see, but 2024, he's gonna get his uh, first shoe, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Spring, summer, to be exact. Next up, we have the Jordan 6 Olympic, which is set to return in the fall time of 2024. Another OG classic I'm looking forward to getting my hands on. This is some news that just popped up recently. Fall 2024 retails $200. You gotta get that lower, guys. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely adding this one to the arsenal. I do not own this pair. I did at one point, but not anymore. And uh, definitely an instant cop for me. Instant cop. For me big time shoe big time story behind it we got a long ways to go though a whole year more information on the jordan 4 military blue we already know it's set to release on the 2020 uh 2024 35th anniversary of its initial release god damn may 11th now i'm guessing these are official images and these official images are coming from china so you got to take it with a grain of salt whether it's an official image or not the fact that it's releasing in may shoes usually go into production three to six months out maybe this shoe is initially releasing earlier in the year of 2024 but the fact that it has a release date of May and shoes go into production six months out max, it would need to be starting to be made like right now, the military blue. But with the delays that stated like this shoe might have initially had been planned to release this year or in the beginning in February. So that date of the production could have been sooner because they thought it was going to release earlier, but now it's getting pushed back. Everything's been pushed back. And I think that Jordan brand is starting to slowly get things right as far as their timing of releases. But to each its own. This is Instant Cop, probably one of the biggest releases of 2024, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then we got the Jordan 1 Green Glow. Not much about it, but I did see it pop up. I wanted to talk about it April 6, 2024. The Green Glow initially got its name from the Jordan 4, which I think they should bring back pretty soon, and uh, we will see if they do so. You feel me? It is what it is. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all as always, and I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna make sure to continue to bring some more content down the pipeline on this channel, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.